OMG, my boy squad, the cutest trick ever. My boy squad, check out this trick that he literally just learned by accident. Cypher, come. Come show my boy squad. Hey guys, welcome to my daily vlogs. Please subscribe. Cypher, come. High five. <laughs> Again, high five, Cyber. High five. Good boy. See, he does high five this dog. High five. High five. Good boy. <laughs> You're so cute. Who taught you that? Okay, turn. No, wait. Turn. Turn. Good boy. That's another trick we've been working on. Come here. Come here. Cypher. Sit. Good boy. Good boy. Up. 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 Good boy, yes. Guys, this dog's a genius. So guys, one thing I've learned keeps this dog busy is just literally take everything out of his bed, dump it all over the place, and then he will take time throughout his day to bring everything back to his bed, one by one. <laughs> This is how he does it. He goes around our condo as well, smells the floor, grabs random things, and brings it to his bed. This is literally the site where he hoards everything he finds. Watch. Later today, we'll check out his bed and see what we have. So guys, I had to take his favorite ant toy away because look, he completely destroyed it. Um, the other eyeball, I was able to throw in the garbage. He didn't swallow the eyeball, but um, I was just worried that he would like get all of this filling and swallow it and cause like impaction or blockage of some sort. So no more ant toy. Although I love this toy, we'll still keep it for memories. He's of course teething, so he loves to chew on everything. I'm happy he actually likes to chew on his toys. This makes me happy. That's what that's for. Guys, look at what I saw Cypher taking to his bed. This is not allowed. A month full of slippers. Someone spoiled. Daddy RJ bought you a bunch of new toys. Oh, and he loves them all. <laughs> Go play. Go play with your toys. He's like, I want to play with you. Strawberry, a pepper, banana. Is this like carrot? Beef roll or something. <laughs> More stuff to put in his bed. He likes the red one. Watch, I'll scatter his toys all around. It drives him crazy. <laughs> so he'll chew on that, and then when he'll realize, hey, wait a sec, there are toys all over the kitchen. I gotta go back. Okay, he's gotta go back. Get the others. <laughs> Brings it home. He's gonna go back. <laughs> Bring the carrot home. <laughs> Brought strawberry home. Trust me, I'd rather he play with these than like grab the random stuff in my condo because he has. Oh my, what is this? Mm. Fried lumpia over. Yum, guys. It's like Filipino egg roll, basically. Yum. And look at this setup. How cute. Oh, I love it. Bet you're the best. I enjoy eating when the table is nice. Yeah. Well, you're really good at it. Guys, apparently this is best eaten with raw garlic. Okay, so then we get the garlic and then put it here. And then... Oh, it's crispy! Then, OMG! And then you just pour the sauce on it? Yes. Oh my. Oh! Okay, let's try this. Seriously. Mmm. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Oh my, mmm. Inside is potatoes, carrots, raw garlic, really? Oh my. Mmm. Mmm. Very good. The vegetable and the crunchy wrapping. What else is in there? Bamboo shoot. Bamboo shoots. Oh, carrots. I see some kind of leaf. I just put the whole garlic inside. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Guys, RJ's friend is making these and selling them. Mm -hmm. So follow her. Her name is Marizel888. He's uh, working on his collection still. Working on collecting them all and bringing all items to his lair. Good morning. Yay. Morning. Morning, Saves. Okay, let's go pee. Good morning. Morning. Did you sleep well? I know I did. <laughs> See guys what I mean? All the toys hoarded <laughs> in his bed. You missed two toys. All right. What I love is now Cypher is willing to use the puppy pad multiple times. So I don't have to keep changing it after he soils it. Thank goodness we can save on puppy pads. <gasps> Good boy. Yay. Good boy, you make poo. 
going for pooing. So guys, look at my awesome sprouts. Now you might recall in a recent previous vlog that I was soaking my lentils, my beans, my seeds, the nuts, there's the almond there, and the grains, right? This is for Ligaya's um, healthy chop. So after soaking for eight hours for all the stuff, except the mung bean, which takes 24 hours to soak, then I stick them in these sprouting jars, which essentially is just like mesh. <laughs> and then I let them air out. And if you look carefully, you'll see that they have little tails. You see that? The lentils in particular are starting to really grow tails. And the millet is starting to sprout as well. The almonds are like twice the size. If you look at the mung bean as well, starting to sprout. I actually just rinsed them from soaking. This will sprout over the next two or three days. And then the quinoa too. See those little tails? Those are roots. The guy, I'll make you breakfast. Hold on. I'm just showing my Buhai squad how I make your breakfast. And the millet as well. There's millet in there too. That's sprouting. See that? And that's how I sprout Ligaya's seeds, beans, and grains. But I'm gonna make her breakfast now. Mabuhai squad, how are you guys? How is it in your nick of the woods? Hmm? You guys home life or are you opened up now and like living life as normal? Here, home life is where it's at. I'm totally happy staying at home and safer. Love you too. You've been saying that a lot lately. <laughs> Don't worry, I'm making breakfast. Okay guys, so this is how I make Ligaya's breakfast, right? First of all, she needs fresh new water, but I put in, lately, chamomile tea. Although I do have avian parrot tea. Stick that in there and then add some fresh water. Of course, my favorite water. <laughs> Sip. I used a special instrument that I use for my tanks to test the water of sip. Wow, super clean this water. All right, so that's her water to drink. Now, in terms of the food, watch this, guys. Okay, first things first. Ooh, I love doing this every morning. It's like a ritual. Red palm fruit oil, organic. Love this stuff. So I take a spoon, I get about one teaspoon, half a teaspoon, something like that. And I put it in there like so. And then with this like palm oiled spoon, I just put it into my glass and add it to my coffee later. All right, love it. Love red palm fruit oil, by the way. The red palm fruit is harvested from the fruit, not the nut, like regular palm oil. Just loaded with vitamin A and vitamin E. It was recommended to me by one of you, Mabuhai squad. Her name is Doc Emily, amazing lady. And she said basically it's good for birds that are kept indoors, that where exercise might be a challenge. Um, I forgot what she said. It helps them fight off some certain disease. Okay guys, I looked it up. Up Doc Emily's email and by the way she's a certified avian vet very knowledgeable she says that if you aren't already you should look into giving her red palm fruit oil daily because companion birds don't usually get as much exercise as they would in the wild they are more at risk for high cholesterol and developing atherosclerosis so giving a dose of red palm fruit oil she says it is also high in the synthesizable vitamin A and E antioxidants that African greys need in their diet I I wouldn't be surprised if you might see an increase in her energy level from taking palm fruit oil supplement. And indeed, I have seen it. Doc Emily goes on to say that it's full of very high carotenes, especially beta carotene, which is a vitamin A precursor. You would have to feed a few cups of beta carotene rich vegetables to match the amount of beta carotene found in just one quarter teaspoon of red palm oil. But yeah, very good. Then I put a cap full of coconut oil. It's coming, we guys. Promise. All right. Let's move on. So my sprouts, right? These have another two days to sprout. I mentioned in a previous vlog that sprouting your beans, your seeds, your grains makes them more nutritious and it burns off certain fats that are not so good for the birds. So what I do is I, I sprout them for three days. Oh, and I wash them three times a day because you don't want them to mold. You gotta wash them and then drain them. And then I bag them in like amounts that last three days. And then I stick them in the freezer and then I just defrost as needed. So this here mm, is her sprouts. I've just chopped them up, see? Quinoa in there, there's spelt, almond, all of that. And then I just take about this much, stick it in. Yeah. Throw it in there. I love the fact that she eats this. And I know she does eat it because I see some undigested like quinoa and parts in her poop. 
Next, brown rice. The guy loves this. I put about a tablespoon of that. Yes, I'm liberal with the brown rice. Guys, look at that veggie chop. It's just a work of like bird culinary art. Look at how colorful that is, right? And it smells delicious. Mmm, so fragrant. Um, what's in here? Bok choy or pechai, I believe. Because I don't have collard greens, I wish. And a bunch of like dried avian tea grinds. There's wheatgrass in here. I see hot chili peppers. Beets, of course, which she loves. Carrot is in here. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff in here, guys. Liberal with the veggies. All right, and we're done. Oh, this bird patiently waiting. Here you go, the guys. Breakfast made with love. Feast, my dragon, feast. Now this might seem like a lot of work, but it's actually not, not so bad. Like this bean wheat seed portion of her chop, I only need to do this maybe once a month or so, maybe even less because like I made more this batch, so I really could make enough for the next couple of months. But yeah, I mean, it takes four days of preparation. You soak, then you sprout for three days. Then you just basically mix it all in a blender, bag it up into sections that last you three days and that's it. It like takes two seconds after that you keep them separate see the vegetable portion the, the bean seed and wheat portion and the rice portion and it's easy easy as pie and healthy I could even eat this if I wanted <laughs> And the problem with feeding a bird pellets, several actually. One, because first of all, there are so many species of birds and every species um, has their own like nutritional requirement, their own diet. Like, I mean, the Gaia's from Africa, but then you have macaws which come from South America. You have birds that come from Asia, cockatoos that come from Australia. So different, right? And their diets are just as diverse. So imagine creating a pellet and saying, yes, this pellet is completely complete for all parrots. <laughs> kind of hard because like parrots are just so diverse in their needs. Like some parrots require more sugar content like lorikeets. Some require more seeds like budgerigars. So it's always best to like give raw foods. Also the advantage of giving your birds raw foods is first of all it's more interesting to eat. Can you imagine if like we were kept as pets and someone kept giving us a bowl of like I don't know these little rounded things that we just have to chew on that apparently meets all our nutritional needs. No, kind of boring, right? Um, at least if you have various colors, right? Different textures, it's more interesting to eat. So your bird ends up eating healthier. Apparently, if you rotate the ingredients of their food, it keeps their body guessing, I guess, where they're gonna get their next nutrients and how they're going to process the nutrients. Apparently, it's good for the bird if you seasonally change the diet as opposed to giving them the same food type and same set of nutrients in the same amount year round. And again, I mean, you can't beat this. Look at that. Imagine how healthy this is compared to a pellet that is full of fillers and stuff. Um, but I do give Lagaya pellets. I give her Mazuri, but it only makes up about 10% of her diet now. Personally, I just, I love this and it really shows in Lagaya's like overall vitality, right? You would never know you were a bird with PDD, which by the way, we still have to test just to make sure. Okay, Cypher, it's time for your breakfast. So we got got purified water there. We've got Cypher's doggy vitamins. One milliliter of that. All right, now gonna give Cypher kibble. So that's origin, grain free and very nutritious. A lot of you guys pointed out that there's some studies that grain free can lead to heart disease. So I decided let's add some grains cause my dogs always had rice. This here is brown rice. You get some brown rice. If there's some meat in the fridge, like chicken or steak that RJ and I will have, you know, saved from the day before, I'll cut some up and put them in there. Now, gotta add the wet food. Poppy plate by Merrick, chicken recipe. All right, mash it all in there. Yes, so it covers everything. I'll do it the Filipino way with spoon fork into a mash. Yes. So I try to cover all the pellet with the mash because if it's just dry, he'll leave it. But if it's covered in all of that other stuff, he will swallow and chew it. And finally, to top it all off, some of this beef soft meat roll treat. There you go. Just to garnish. Now if it's dinner time, I'll sometimes throw in a random vegetable in there like broccoli or something, a carrot, or one of these, one or two of these. Goji berries, very healthy. Stick one or two in there now. Okay, Cypher, I know you're excited. Look at him, he's excited. Breakfast is served, my werewolf. 
Is it waking up daddy? <laughs> oh, the best way to wake up. Seriously. Guys, indoor life rocks. Are you guys liking indoor life? Did you guys have to get used to indoor life? It's the best. I love listening to Ligaya's vocalizations in the morning. Ooh. Oh. I'll just copy everything she says. <laughs> She's confused. It's like, stop saying what I'm saying. The guy I just had her chamomile aloe vera shower. Yes. She's nice and wet, and now she's gonna dry off. Did you enjoy that shower? <laughs> Come on, flap those wings. Flap those wings. Flap those, flap those, flap those wings. She's like, not now, dad. So some of you guys have been asking when I plan on formerly introducing Cypher and Legaya. Not yet, maybe soon. Um, there have been times when Legaya has been either spooked and she flies or she decides to fly over to the viewing deck near the window and she'll end up really close to Cypher. Like sometimes even she'll fly to the floor and Cypher runs up to her and during those encounters, Legaya doesn't panic and Cypher also doesn't go like biting Legaya. He just kind of like, like sniffing Ligaya like that. So generally, I believe they would not hurt each other if they came in contact with each other. But in terms of a formal introduction, I think what I might do is it'll be on Ligaya's terms. So Cypher will be either held by us or he will be in his crate. And then Ligaya will be allowed to walk up to the crate or whatnot if she wants. I believe that's how it's gonna go. Yeah. Because they can do damage on each other, literally. Like, Cypher obviously can bite Ligaya, but Ligaya's got some weapons on her face. She can cause some serious damage on Cypher if she wanted. But generally, the dynamic right now is it does seem like Ligaya loves Cypher running around. I often catch her communicating with him. And there are times when Cypher is a little too much in Ligaya's face. Like, while Ligaya's eating her pellets in the afternoon, Cypher has learned to sit at the bottom of the cage and wait for Ligaya to throw him a pellet, you know what I mean? Sometimes she likes it, sometimes she's annoyed by it, like she fluffs up her feathers like, GET AWAY! <laughs> Is the puppy energy annoying you sometimes, Ligaya? Hmm? He's a little too eager. Also, it does make sense that Ligaya is okay with RJ and I, particularly me, her life partner, interacting with other animals because, I mean, if you think about it, these birds live in massive flocks in the wild, like hundreds of members. So they're used to lots of members in the flock. And I'm sure the life partners interact with other members of the flock as well. So, I mean, I, I don't foresee them being super jealous. I just believe that being social animals is really part of their DNA uh, and I have not seen any kind of I don't know depression or whatnot from the Gaia since Cypher joined us and the guys do you see him as your pet too <laughs> Ligaya's loving her okra. Nice raw okra. Mmm, delicious, right? Guys, okra is amazing for birds because the birds like, well, Ligaya anyway. I noticed she likes to pick it apart and like fish out the little seeds inside and she likes to pop them in her mouth. Yes. Pop those, pop those, pop those seeds. It's just really good enrichment for them. Yes. So Ligaya flew first over to the viewing deck and then now onto the bed. I think she's been jealous that Cypher has been on the couch so much. Or I think she's trying to get a better look at Cypher. See, she's looking for him. She's like, where did he go? There he is. He's right there. Cypher is here, Cypher. Ligaya, Cypher is here. I'm trying to see if she's uncomfortable with him being there or what. No, she just wants to hang out, I think. That's good. I'm encouraging this behavior of her flying around the condo because I find she is super stuck to just this location. Sometimes she'll fly over to the sink and every now and then she'll fly to the viewing deck. But she I want to encourage this now. more. She doesn't pee. Yeah, she doesn't poo on the couch anymore. She like goes to the edge and poops over the edge. She's like, why have you been sleeping here these past few days, my humans? Guys, it looks like this introduction between the bird and the dog is going to happen sooner than expected and like in a more organic way it's possible she flew down so that she could get a better look at cypher and cypher eagerly wants to go see her cypher you want to see ligaya here i'll just lift you so you can get a better view that's ligaya ligaya's like hmm interesting looking bird 
There we go. All right, guys, positive affirmation for Wednesday, July the 8th. I always have enough money. Every thought I think is creating my future. So I choose to be well balanced financially. Love that. I choose to be well balanced financially. There you go, guys. Believe it, feel it in your bones, and it will come true. There's your positive affirmation of the day. All right, guys, and we have a brand new Whiteboard Wednesday. Thank you, Lily S., for last week's Whiteboard Wednesday. And for this week's Whiteboard Wednesday, which, by the way, is your scribble board, you guys leave entries. You can put anything you guys want here, and then RJ and I will choose one to put up. Here is this week's Whiteboard Wednesday. When you are content, happiness will follow. There we go, guys. And this comes to us from Tracy Wang. Thank you, Mabuhai Squad, Tracy Wang. When you are content, happiness will follow. Yes! OMG Mabuhai Squad You will not believe what Ligaya has learned to say Mabuhai Squad Ligaya can now say 